All right, so veterans from every branch of the military are joining together through Concerned Veterans for America to show support for veterans and their families of those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. For more on this, let's welcome in former Master Sergeant and Senior Coalition's Advisor for Concerned Veterans for America, Jason Beardsley. Jason, appreciate you being here. Hey, good morning, Carl. How you doing? All right, so first off, you know, obviously I have a, a history with you guys working with you in the past. So tell us a little bit about Concerned Veterans for America, what they're doing right now. So this is guys uh, and girls that have uh, been in service like you and I and have gone overseas, borne the burden of our battles, but have come together on the civic front to say, we need to have that voice of experience and leadership inside this debate, whether it's ending endless wars or reforming war powers or making sure that veterans can get the right kind of health care that they have earned through their benefits. Mm -hmm. So it really does require the voice of reason, and we're here to hold leaders accountable. So these are peers of yours and these are peers of mine that have been in the struggle for a long time. So appreciate that uh, you've got the site up at CV, the number 4A.org. But come on in and check it out. We're very policy oriented, but it's it's coming from a place where we felt personally the yeah. burdens of those deployments. So um, let's talk about benefits, because I don't think a lot of people realize how many benefits that veterans are actually entitled to. I know it took me almost 10 years or nine years of being out of the military to realize whoa, I have access to all this stuff. What are some of the key resources veterans have to access things like you know, the GI Bill and health insurance and mental health care, especially coming around the holidays? No, that's a fantastic uh, question. And like you, it took me a long time to even get through the process or, or do the bureaucracy of, of accessing my benefits. But the VA is a phenomenal resource. There's tremendous people working there, uh, but it is a large bureaucracy. And because you mentioned education and health, uh, getting to your benefits is, is actually qu uh, some work. There are veteran service organizations and veteran service officers who can help with that. But at the end of the day, it's a very complex process. And so advocacy groups like Concerned Veterans for America stand uh, as the voice of reason inside Washington, along with many others, to say, let's make sure that's as easy as possible. Because the last thing a veteran needs is complex bureaucracy on the way to delivery of health care. That's such an important piece you mentioned on the on the PTSD front or, you know, veterans that are having mental health issues. Mm -hmm. They should be able to get there quick and easy. And right now, I'm afraid to tell you that a lot of that is not easy. So one of the things we're going to do is press for accountability in Congress, make sure they're overseeing the law and make sure the reforms are what they ought to be. Yeah, it, it's just shocking to me that you know, veterans have to go through so much red tape and garbage to just get what, what should be provided, you know, as a, as a service. I think um, one of the problems, too, is that you guys have been pushing for oversights for, you know, as long as I've known your organization. But, you know, you, you do this, they get in trouble, they're told to do something else, they just don't do it. I mean, Why? I mean, you know, that's a great uh, question, but of course it is the federal government. So every bureaucracy, every administration really needs policing. And if uh, citizens and family members and people that love this country, love that America has the prosperity that it does, if we don't get involved, um, it, it's the natural weight of the bureaucracy that gets lazy, it adds regulations, it adds complications. Something as simple as choice, letting a veteran uh, take their veteran uh, health care benefits and go out to a community if they can't get to a, a clinic that's within you know an hour or less than them, I, I face that problem. That's important. But if we don't press the legislators to do their work, the natural tendency for these bureaucracies is to put more regulations in the way of veterans. Mm -hmm. And we think that uh, voices like ours are here to say the veteran ought to be the priority, not the bureaucracy. Yeah, structure, structure unfortunately, trumps function a lot of times in, in the U.S. government. Jason Beardsley, Concerned Veterans for America, we appreciate being here. Hey, one, one thing. Uh, I'll leave I know you Navy Carl. lost last night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. Army, Navy. All right. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon, Jason. Yeah, brother.